Well, a pretty decent day for those who got out for any fall festivities. Storm Track 3 Chief Meteorologist Nick Hausen joins us now. Nick, still one of those days where people might have wanted to wear like a long sleeve or a jacket, though. Still yeah, a little chilly. But perfect fall like yeah. weekend, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not ready for what's coming, no. though, ahead for us. Some really cold weather. In fact, uh, bitterly cold temperatures. We are likely to see uh, freezing temperatures over the next few mornings. National Weather Service has issued freeze warnings. Really, they extend across much of the central U.S. all the way to the Appalachian Mountains and then westward almost to the Rockies. And for many, this is going to signal an end to the growing season. Now, tonight we're not going to drop below freezing, but tomorrow night and then again Tuesday night, we are going to do so in the entire region under a freeze warning as we make our way into Monday night and then first thing on Tuesday morning. Uh, once again today, not a bad day to be out and about uh, this evening. We have seen that cold front move through, though. Temperatures now starting to fall back pretty quickly, especially as the skies start to clear clear out in the wake of that cold front and uh, we start to see some of that cooler air pumping in from the north. It's going to continue to cool down. Uh, notice the clouds also pushing out of the region. Once again, clear skies. Winds have started to lighten up just a bit. That is a perfect recipe for some chilly weather ahead for us. Right now outside temperatures dropping all the way uh, back into the upper 40s right now. 48 in Carbondale. We've got 49 in Harrisburg, 47 at this hour in Mount Vernon, 54 still in Paducah. You can still see some of that warmer air hanging around across parts of the uh, Missouri Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee, Western Kentucky, but uh, temperatures will continue to fall back overnight and uh, most of us waking up first thing Monday morning into the mid to upper 30s. Some patchy frost is possible, but tomorrow's just going to be a chilly day. One of those days where if you uh, maybe have not dug out the winter coat quite yet, uh, you may be doing so tomorrow. Even during the afternoon hours, temperatures in some locations may struggle to get out of the 40s and then even colder air pushes in for Tuesday. In fact, near record cold temperatures on the way for much of our region. So there goes the cold front this evening, making its way now closer and closer to the Appalachians. All the cold air spilling in across the uh, Canadian border. These are actual temperatures right now. Cedar Rapids, Iowa at 39, Duluth, Minnesota right now at the freezing mark. And all of that cold air is working its way southward. And at least through the first half, of the week. We are talking about almost feeling like winter, a little uh, not a really common air that we're seeing move this way, at least for the middle of October. Tomorrow morning, waking up uh, mid 30s. Once again, the light winds could lead to some patchy frost in a few locations. Strong winds, though, Monday afternoon from the northwest, uh, pushing in the cooler air. We're going to see a lot of sunshine, but these are afternoon highs only in the low 50s. And then as we look ahead to Tuesday morning, mid 20s. These are not wind chills. These are actual temperatures. So if you've got some potted plants you still want to try to hold on to maybe the mums we want to bring those in monday night first thing tuesday morning and then tuesday afternoon upper 40s low 50s for highs another breezy day and then wednesday morning looks to be the coldest high pressure builds in winds finally start to relax just a bit and with clear skies we could see a few rural areas even dip back into the teens. So a hard freeze pretty likely Tuesday morning and then again Wednesday morning starting to gradually warm back up towards the end of the week. In addition to the cold air, it's very dry air moving in. So once again, as winds pump in here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday afternoons, uh, we are likely to see a very high fire threat. We saw a lot of field fires back on Friday. We may see more of those over the next few days. However, it is a short lived cool spell towards the end of the week quickly warming back up. We're back in the mid 60s Thursday. Look at that 70s on the way for Friday and then mid to upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. So a little brief taste of some cold weather here. I'll tell you what, Brooke, if we actually hit 25 or below, it'll be the mm. earliest we've seen temperatures that cold this early in the season, dating all the way back to the year 2000. So yeah, well, ready. it seems like just a couple of weeks ago we had near record highs and now it's just like the complete opposite. Less Ugh. than a month ago, we wow. uh, had some areas hit 100. Yeah, here we go. All right. Thanks, Nick.